Hey, Jeff Love here with Alternative Heating and Supplies. Today I'm gonna to talk about a snap disc issue, which I talked about earlier in another video, that is uh, a reason why your fans don't turn on. God damn that freaking plane again. What they're doing is they're, they're, they're practicing flying, so they go and land and take off. Hey, Jeff Love here with Alternative Heating and Supplies. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the Woodmaster and the issue that comes up when a fan does not turn on when it should be turning on. It is called the snap disc. The snap disc, I did a video earlier uh, about this and uh, we'll refer back to it in this video if you need more detail about it. But I wanted to show people where it is because a lot of people call me and say, well, where is it? You're gonna take off the back control panel of your Woodmaster. This applies on all Woodmasters, the 3300, the 44, the 5500, 6500, the 546, the 323, all of them. Just take off the back control panel. The snap disc resides right here. I peeled away the insulation a little bit and it sits against the back of the drum to monitor the water, the temperature of the wood boiler. The purpose of it is, is that when the monitors the temperature of the water and it exceeds 190 degrees, it turns off the electricity to the fans to prevent it from overheating and boiling over. It's a safety system, okay? They're a very simple, mechanical, little spring-activated system. And what also happens is that you want your unit to turn on and it won't turn on the fans because it overheated or simply maybe the snap disc went bad. But when it, it won't turn back on the fans until this temperature probe snap disc reads 150 or even maybe 140 degrees. So before you start worrying, let the stove cool down to about 130, 135, 140 degrees, and then this should reactivate, open up, and the fans will turn back on. It's just a safety system. It activates at 190 and deactivates at 150 degrees or so. It's a spring activated, so it might be a little less. Now what happens is these two 110 volt wires are going to it and they're connected to it as a spade connector. Also what happens, and I've seen this numerous times, is over time, the heat and the cold make the spade connectors fall off. So people call me, hey, my fans aren't turning on, and I ask them, told them to simply look at their spade connectors and they notice that one of them's off. That'll make your fans not turn on. So make sure you got a good connection here. Make sure the spade connectors are on nice and solid. And if you wanna test to see if the snap disc is any good, and that's what's causing your problem, simply pull off both the spade connectors put a wire in between it and jump it out. That will activate the fan if the snap disc is the problem. To replace the snap disc, it's only a couple screws. Unscrew it, get your new snap disc. Very inexpensive, under $15. Reattach, replug it in, you're back up and running. I hope this helps. It's a very simple solution to a, a big problem, but it's always something stupid and something simple. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, give us a call and uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked the video or if we offered any assistance to you. I would also love to hear any suggestions of new videos that you would like me to do. Um, this is what I've been doing for the last 18 years. So all I know is outdoor wood boilers and how to hook them up and fix these little simple problems. Thank you and have a great day.